Hi, this is an Easy Kiss 1 2 3 tutorial, and this is part 2 of our drag and drop application. If you haven't seen part 1, I'd recommend doing that because I'm going to go pretty quickly through those parts that we've already covered. Um, what we're doing here is we're setting up a list. It can be any type of list, and it's sortable by dragging and dropping. We've made some changes. Um, part 1, we had a smaller box, so this one, you're not going to have to actually change any of the code. Um, so you can just follow along, um, but if you want to download all the new files, because we've made some changes for this version, we've made the box bigger, and we've changed it so that you can actually add code in ra rather than just text. Uh, for example, say we go over to Amazon, and we grab some code to add a book from Amazon, and we just paste our code in here, and we say add it now. So now we have Ajax and PHP building responsive web applications. It's our new book. Let's bring it to the top because it is the book that this tutorial came from originally. So, and I do recommend checking that book out. It's great if you want to learn about building Ajax applications and working with Ajax and PHP and databases and fantastic. So we'll go over here and take a look. And this is where our changes would be reflected is on this page shows up as a list. Let's get started right away and I'm going to cruise through this pretty quickly so remember check part one of this tutorial if you get lost for this part. So go ahead to the download tab and download part two drag and drop files and what we'll do is you'll get a file called drag and drop dot zip if you extract that you get a folder called drag drop two so go open that folder up and you'll see tasks.sql if you open up task.sql and copy that code, we're going to go into phpMyAdmin, and we've already covered this in part one, but we'll do it again. phpMyAdmin, and we're going to choose our database that we had set up, select the SQL tab, paste our code, and click go. That sets our tables up. Let's go back, close that file, and go back into our folder that we had downloaded. The folder called drag and drop. Open that up and the same as in part one. Open up config with notepad or wordpad and in there change where it says db host to your host. Well local host can likely stay that way. That's pretty standard. db user put your username. db password put your database password. db database and put your database name in there. Open up your favorite FTP program and go to your www directory and upload all of the files. Well, upload the whole folder, drag and drop. And I've already done that, but you go ahead and put it up there. When you have that, if you go to, I'll open this up for you, one, two, three, drag and drop and what we want is index.php and you'll see it opens it up so let's just say a new book and it shows up here so what we want to do though is we need to have this showing up as a list in your site for example so how do you add that to your site so that what changes you make here are reflected on another page well let's take a look and see I've set up a little example to show you. Um, first off, there's a little file called code snippets.txt. If you open that up, you'll see there's just two little pieces of code that you can add to your page, and it can add it to any page, and it should work just fine for you. So open the folder called my site, and in there you'll see mypage.html. So I'm going to open that with WordPad. Then I'm going to go to my code snippets document and I'm going to grab this little piece of code right here and I'll copy that and then I go right to the very beginning of my document so there's no spaces or anything right to the very beginning and I'm going to paste that code in. Then I'm going to come down to code snippets again. The second little piece here, I'm going to grab that little piece of code and copy it and then I'm gonna look down the page and I see a spot here where it says some of my favorite books so I'm going to right after that is where I want my list 
to show up. So I'm just going to paste that little piece of code right there. And it's the code is already surrounded in UL tags. If you don't know what that means, I guess it doesn't really matter if you do and you already have your UL tags and you can remove them. But I've included the UL tags so that it shows up properly as a list. Now, <clears throat> we can save that file and close it. One of the things we're going to need to do is it says mypage.html. Well, now we're dealing with PHP. So we just need to rename the file, mypage.php. And yes, I want to change it. So let's back out of there. And we see my site. Let's go to our FTP program and upload that whole folder, my site, to our www directory. And while that's uploading, I will go to that address and uploaded it to my site slash my page dot php so that's where i put mine http easy kiss one two three dot com my site slash my page dot php and okay that is finished and let's see what happens here okay now this is likely going to happen for a lot of people require once drag and drop, task list, get all these errors that are coming up. So let's take a look here. Let's go back to this folder that says my site. Inside of here, mypage.php. And let's open that again with our editor. And those little pieces of code we put in, as you can see, it says require once. And what I intended to do was this where it says drag and drop tasklist.class.php. Well, that's the file I want to point it to, tasklist.class.php. Well, since I'm already in a folder called my site, I need to back out of it. So I'll go dot dot slash. So this area, you're going to want to point to this file, this tasklist.class.php. And if we go down, let's double check our code here. And that should just be fine. So it's just that one little section that require once and then single quotes you want to point to your file tasklist.class.php let's save that and that should take care of our error and we've got to upload that to our we've got to FTP that up so open up my site and I'm gonna drop in here my page and yes I'll overwrite it so now when I open it, and it works fine, a new book. So let's go here again and go easykiss123.com, drag and drop index, and go another new book, add it. Let's go grab this book from Amazon, some actually some code, and paste the code in here and add it. There we've got another new book. If you want to delete a book, you can drag it down here and delete it. And we'll go over here and let's refresh our page. And there, they show up. So, this is an Easy Kiss 123 tutorial. Thank you for watching.